Hey guys, Black Hawk SO here. And I make no bones about it. I love your truck. <laughs> okay. But uh, something I thought about doing as a web series is something that may seem a bit weird. And that is this start a whole new profile. Oh, yes. And uh, just trying to give a name. Um. Billy Bob. Billy Bob the trucker. Ah, let's change my picture to, um, hmm, who shall I have? Hey, he looks like a Billy Bob. Prefer truck design. Uh, let's see. I like the scanning streamline personally. And a company logo. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's go for, um, I don't know, the tire treads. And this is going to be Billy Bob. Trucking. My thoughts are basically. Oh, that's good enough. In my ears. Uh, my thoughts basically is to um, do what Google see as like a kind of semi tutorial on what to do. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do mass steer like I always do. Real automatic. Finish wizard. So, yeah. Um, basically, start fresh and yeah this is going to be a series one first tip never really start off your trucking empire in the UK because the majority of your work you want to do is over here in Europe starting in the UK you'll get your jobs going across to, to Europe and because they're so low paying in the beginning you're just going to be able to lose more money than you're actually making so what I suggest is actually start somewhere centralish, like Germany, somewhere that's got a large clump of cities around it. Um, I'm trying to think of where to start off with in particular. I'm going to start off with well, I normally start with Dusseldorf, but I feel like it's a bit different. Uh, uh, let's start from right in the middle, like Castle, Germany. Like I said. Uh, do you want walk through tutorial? No. I don't know what walk through tutorial. Why do we need that? No one do we kind of. Maybe. Maybe not. So anyway, as you well know, when you start off a new profile, you get thrown into a tutorial where you have to drive your truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's just go and deliver this job. How sensitive is this? Oh. Okay, I've just numbered. Uh, none of my uh, key settings are obviously set up at the moment. So, um, wait for this vehicle to go. Double check the other way. Okay. This is not easy due to um, how I normally have this set up. Uh, make sure I indicate car go first and then I'm going to turn in. So yeah, my thoughts are literally I'm going to make a series where I'll just progress this profile. Um, go as far as I want to go. Uh, I'll talk random crap as much as I want and so on and we'll just yeah see how it goes. People like it, people like it, people don't, people don't. One thing I'm going to quickly do though while I think about it is literally change my controls uh, where's it gone? What that? Right, throttle. That's that. Still there. Right. Uh, shift keys. Shift control that needs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's it gone? Yeah. Um, and then I normally do that. This is how I like to have it set up personally. I'm not saying this is the right way to set up. This is just what's comfortable for me. And also what I'm going to do is turn down the music because it just bugs me. Ah, so nice. And let's see what's done in here. Yeah, fatigue simulation is on. Uh, braking, all that stuff's on. Truck speed limiter. I'm going to knock it. No, I'll leave it on, because I'm going to do it basically as an average person would play. 
Uh, automatics here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, show truck limits, cruise controls, blah 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 blah, rain probability stuff, entrance, showing the door, uh, steering camera rotation on the uh, no, normal. Steering camera rotation, I'll have that on. Uh, don't want a blinker rotation. Physical camera movement, what's that? That's a new option. Yeah. Anyway, now I've just tweaked my settings. There is other settings that I'd like to tweak. But it's just uh, figuring them all out, to be honest. Uh, I'm trying to remember, there we go. Just to take some of that trim off that I don't want. There we go. I've got a feeling this might be set too high of what I normally have on the mouse sensitivity, but yeah. And let's get over in the right lane. So yeah, Euro Truck. Oh, that was a bit of a sharp break at the last second then. Uh, I love this game. This is my relaxation game. When I've had a bad day at work, or just having a bad day in general, I just like to come home and just go for a drive in my truck. It's a, what I like to call almost like a switch your brain off game. To be honest, oh, sugar, I'm speeding already. That's really bad of me. But there's no speed cameras just around here, I don't think. Uh, let's just slow that down. There we go. Keep it on 59. My retard is kicking in, trying to slow it down and indicate that I'm joining the motorway. Yeah, uh, this is my switch your brain off game. This is my relaxation game. There's no rushing to click and shoot someone faster than they can shoot you and all that kind of stuff going on. You know, this is, yeah, just do what you want and go for a drive. See, I love it. and It's beautiful. I think it's an absolutely stunning game. It really is. So, yes. Oh, this is a short drive. <laughs> one. But to know, um, I know of people who commonly ask, you know, oh, when is a good time to um, take a loan? Is it wise taking a loan? Should I just keep doing jobs until I've got enough money to buy a truck and all that kind of stuff? So I thought instead of trying to answer every one of those people, why not just do it? Yeah, what the heck? But yeah, as for the game, there's so much stuff apparently going to be happening to this game soon. I am so excited. Uh, things like um, American Truck Simulator. Um, hopefully due to come out within the next 12 months. Don't know. SCS have been a bit coy about it. They do show a lot of um, images, stills from work in progress um, which all look very promising. Indeed. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be beautiful. And, you know, we're going to be able to drive the long, proper long nose Peterbilts um, and vehicles like that across America. Um, how big they're going to make it, I really don't know. I mean, are you going to be able to, in theory, do I don't know, say New York to Las Vegas? Part of me hopes you can. You can. Uh, part of me thinks that's going to be one hell of a long drive. You know, I know how long, how long it can take to in this to drive, say, from the north of Scotland um, to like the very edge of Poland. It takes a good few hours to do. So I can only imagine the same is going to be for um, for American Truck Simulator. But yeah. Um, I also love the community built uh, multiplayer for this game, um, ETS2 MP. Um, part of me hopes that SCS will throw money in the way of the devs for that to help support it and help them develop it even more and make it even more of a, an amazing game. 
uh, or mod, should I say? Because I mean, because considering they've had the basic support that any other mod makeup get, they've made quite an impressive mod there. It's very um, stable. It very rarely crashes the game, and you know the amount of tweaks it's put in for such a small install as well. It, it's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. And also they're putting in hooks as well for other people to expand even more on it. Uh, I know there's a guy working on... Oh, say a guy. There's a group, should I say, working on um, a like uh, truck tracker system. So there'll be a website which you can go to um, do or display the map and on it will show where every truck is that's on said server any moment in real time which is freaking cool as hell um, it's going to be interesting to see it fully working I mean, I've only seen um, prototype stills at the moment so um, yeah hopefully hopefully they can get it working hopefully it will be really reliable and work really well and it will be able to completely foresee what they want of it because it is such a cool idea. I just hope it works for them. I really do. And looks like I'm coming up to my exit in a moment. Uh, I don't want this lane though, so I need to find a moment that I can pull out from behind this truck. That looks good. And I should be able to get the exit that I want. The end of this mutave. So used to driving with the speed restrictor off, it feels weird to be going at the speed limit. You know, the only time I normally do it in my normal profile is when I'm on the multiplayer mod because it is forced. Uh, and actually, go on the free roam server, which I don't like doing. It, I feel like it loses some when it's on the free roam server. So, you know. It's something about driving in convoy and having to be careful and wary of what's around you and of each other, which you don't have to in free roam, because free roam it's cool, non-collision, drive through each other, and what have you. So yeah, but yeah, some people like it that way, some people don't. And I just realised I've gone for a few minutes now, not shut up once and took a breath. <gasps> There's my breath. So, where are we now? About 30 k's away from destination on the tutorial. This is quite a long drive compared to most tutorials, which I find surprising. It's possibly because of the city I chose to start in. I mean, normally, the tutorial is from one city to the next. And so, obviously, normally that is quite a short distance, whereas I've put, chose a city that's in the middle of Germany, unsurprisingly. So, you know, that first mission, mission, journey, job, what you want to call it, it's going to take that bit extra time. So, yeah, so this is my turn in. Bring the speed down. Oh, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. I'm going to turn in over the vehicle. Just dab in the brakes gently. Just to control my speed down the hill. And picking up the speed right at the bottom of the hill as well. And I just realised I haven't actually set the cab up to where I normally have it. I normally have the driver sitting a bit further back than this. So that's just the way I like it. Let's get into this right hand lane. One of the uh, things that some people have problems getting used to when they first start playing this is um, driving in the right part of the lane. Most driving games in the left hand lane's clear, you'd drive like this. Which, yeah, in you'd aim for the middle of the lane, but if you look in the mirror, you'll see half of my truck is hanging over the edge. It's getting used to driving to one side or the other, depending if you're left hand or right hand drive vehicle, or truck, shall I say. Oh. 
and didn't have retarded braking activated. Yeah, I'm just purely going on truck brakes at the moment, which is um, interesting. But yeah. So, the best thing I ever did with this was turn on mouse steering. Ooh. Gives you so much more accuracy. Yes, you lose the ability to look around with the mouse, which some people like, but personally, I'd prefer the control being able to point it exactly where I want it to go. And this looks like it's my turning. And does he let me pull out? Yes, he is. Thanks, mate. go first bit of reversing in little tip that I learnt little trick I have so pull up as close as I can get into reverse and now think the trailer is the truck so if you want it to the trailer to turn right turn right on the truck and if the train turn left, turn left on the truck. So I need to turn right, so therefore I will turn right and hit reverse. Just dab it and straighten up a bit. And I need it just to straighten up, so it'll be left hand down. Look at that. And there you go. One of the easiest ways I learned. Just so one day it's only clicked to my mind about that. If you need it to turn right, turn it to the right. If you need to turn left, turn it to the left. You naturally just want to keep going. Oh, I need to turn right, so I need to turn left. But no, no, no. Don't think of it like that. Okay? Because people try and do it inside the cab. Best thing to do is go to that view that's outside the cab, look behind, um, and do it that way. Yes, granted. Um, you know, it, you've got to get, um, uh, you've got to get used to doing it if it's offside. It only really works when it's near side, really easily. But usually, you find with most jobs, you can convert it to near side quite simply. So yeah. So let's see. First job I'm going to pick up. Proper job. Um. I want to earn as much money as I can as quickly as I can. So what I'm going to do is take these sawdust panels, all 14 tons of them from Frankfurt to Dortmund, and that's going to earn me a reasonable amount of money to start with. This is my normal way of doing it, just earn as much money as you can. Take these crappy jobs at the beginning, I mean that's probably actually also the best price per distance as well, isn't it? Oh no. Best price for distance is the tractors. Do you know what? I'm going to do that instead. I know he's driving a Renault. But oh well. Can't have everything. And also, I need to sort my cab out. If I do F4, 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 here we go. Drop my seat back a bit. And there we go. It feels a bit more natural for me. And let's take this job. So what I normally prefer to do is do as many jobs as I can stand, stand like this kind of thing, um, earn as much as I can, so I just about afford a truck, and I try and avoid taking a bank loan to get a truck. Sometimes I do it just because I get bored and sick of having to do these kind of jobs, which is understandable, some people do. But that's what I normally prefer to do. And uh, just keep checking as I pull out. Okay, and oh, we need to right turn these lights. So, yeah. So, yeah, I normally try and earn as much as I can. So, if I do take a loan, I don't use as much loan as in, like, you try and avoid using all the loan to buy the new truck, if possible. And then I can, I, I basically, my, my truck is in less debt, which is nice. 
<laughs> and you, you can pay it back quicker. Because, you know, it's going to take time if you get the proper big money jobs coming up. That's green light, that's good. So you get the proper big money jobs coming up, so, you know, you're not going to be earning great amount of money for a while. Uh, so there may be a period of time where the interest repayments on the loan are going to be more than actually what you would get income for doing jobs. So, yeah, it just, you need to bear that in mind. So, yeah. Come on. On to another cruise. Oh, yeah. I know I'm speeding. I have a new mail message. Woohoo. <laughs> but, yeah. I know I'm speeding, but I've just got to try and keep an eye out for the um, speed cameras. Because, basically, I've got to keep an eye on how long these videos go on for. It's the truth. But, yeah. There again, I say, this is such a beautiful game. I mean, it's beautiful apart from you see these ugly things. It's called a Renault. I mean, it's not the prettiest of vehicles inside, really, is it? No, no, it's not. But yeah. Come on. I'm trying to think if I. No, I haven't. Oops. I haven't set up what I normally set up, which is um, I hold down the middle mouse mouse wheel which allows me to look around a bit which I might quickly set up now because you know, I've forgotten so uh, look around look around look around look around look around uh, camera controls interior camera rotate camera in mouse control I normally have that on Q and that. I think that's what we normally have on his queue. Just double check, it appears to be. So now I can just kind of look around at the interior of this thing and almost fall off the road while I'm doing it. Oh, where's the guts in this thing? It has none. Ooh. About to crash into something if I'm not careful. It's starting to sound a bit like a squirrel now. That's bad. Can I get away with doing some overtakes here? I wonder. There's not enough gap for me to be able to pull in though, to be honest. If you're going to try overtakes, make sure you've got a back out plan. You've got somewhere you can dive back in to avoid oncoming traffic. It's really important that, is, that you've got a plan in place in case you need to do that. This traffic is going very slowly. Come on. AI trolling. Come on. Come on. Let's just sit on cruise control of 58. So me keep having to press the button. I hope the farmer likes his tractors. Oh. Am I going to be gaining too much speed on this car now? Possibly. I would try and overtake, but this is coming the other way. Let's go for it. Down the hill. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Try and pull back in. Got back in in time. Nice. That was a bit too close for call. But yeah. Only my Renu. Only impact can only make it look better. 
Oh uh, dear. Come on. This road. So slow. Please. Please. Please, people, drive faster in front. Come on now. I'm thinking, one thing I might need to do in these videos is find some royalty free music I can play in the background. Because I'd love to put radio stations on, but YouTube would block it. Because YouTube is, well, YouTube. So, yeah, I really need to look into that. See if I can find something suitable that I can get away of putting in the background. Um, I'm tempted to look into OC Remix, I keep hearing of. I'm, I'm not sure whether you can get a license into the Creative Commons for that. If you can, bonus. Um, I've got some stuff that I normally use when I'm streaming. Um, which has come from a guy, a French um, musician. Uh, has a website bensound.com um, whether that's suitable for this I don't know um, I have to figure that out but yeah I need to I, I'd have to figure something out because just the noise of the truck can be a bit boring sometimes <laughs> it's really bad to say admittedly oh oh people moving in okay okay can I get away with an overtake? Come on. Oh, why, you trolling bastard. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. There we go. Bullied my way in. That's how you do it. And I'm about to join my way, thank god. Lanes are good. Lanes with no oncoming traffic are very good. It's a sharp turn onto this motorway. So, yeah. Here we go. Come on, Renault. Up the hill. What little crappy engine has this thing got? Here we go. Build at the speed. Come on! If only you can see me right now, I'm rocking backwards and forwards trying to will this thing to actually bloody move. Ooh, that was not good. Didn't keep it lane very well. I'm in the wrong lane as well. Quickly, just cut over. Last second. Drive it like you stole it. Uh, what if I can. There's no short messages. Uh, I've got next rest stop in eight hours, but time remaining on this job six hours, and I'm one hour away. So yeah, it's all good. I think actually, when you're in this first few rounds, rounds jobs, you do these borrow a truck. I think every time you complete a job, your driver gets fully rested. I don't think you really need to worry about rest stops until you own your own truck. To be honest, so. Yeah, it should, shouldn't be a problem. I keep yawning randomly. But it is getting late and I have got work in the morning, admittedly. Uh, but yeah. Oops. Come on, truck. I am so tempted to turn off speed limiter. Speed limiter. Try and see how quickly I can do these jobs, but I'm trying to present how you're meant to play the game. <laughs> you know, I've got a feeling... Ooh, police might be off. On my main profile, just because... I went through a stage of being majorly trolled by the AI, um, hitting me, and just really annoying me, and I was losing money, I got sick of it, I turned police off. I can't remember, I'm not sure if on this profile police would be on or not. I really don't know. Um, yeah, I can't even remember the commands to possibly turn it on from the command line. I know where it is roughly in any file, in the config files, but I don't know how to do it for the command line. 
Yeah, that's not good. Uh, come on. Oops, going across the hashings. That's not good. Too late. Committed. Really, we should. There's got to be. Uh, there's a setting somewhere. So you know this kind of um, fogginess. That's the way to describe it. Around uh, bright, around the lighting and stuff. There's a way to turn it off. But I'm not quite sure where it is. I would like to know because it does kind of bug me. Uh, yeah. Cool. I forgot to indicate off then. Not being trolled by AI. Almost. They I almost trolled me. But I avoided it at the last second. Okay. Oh. There we go. Stopped. One thing I learned very soon, quickly, was... Um, because I used to place on a very, very underpowered machine. On low settings, you won't be able to read the dash. If you press 9 and put the da your head over to one side, it does something to the textures and basically makes it highly, highly readable. It's weird, but it works. So if you're playing on really low texture qualities and stuff, just remember that. If you can't read the dash, Press 9 on your numpad, and you get like a super high res of the dash, which is really cool and allows you to read all the details. That's one of the ways I got through playing on a very underpowered machine. And when I say underpowered, I mean underpowered. Oh my god. Uh, I got on average 10, 12 frames per second when I was playing on that machine. It was not pretty. delivery and I might finish the first episode after this one. Oh, uh, weird speed bump you never knew was there. Let's spin this around. Okay. Let's go to the right bit. Straight. Right a bit further. Boom, straight in. So yes, that is the first episode of my career. Let's just check what that email was. I think it's probably just to say about yeah. About the truck dealers. Thank you. So yes, that's the first episode done with. Um, I hope it shouldn't be too long to the next one. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. Bye.